All right, MRI man, coming back to you with another one. This is straight up, man, straight to the point. MRI techs with the ART or even armament should be able to work at a hospital without the CRT. To me, it's ridiculous. It's preposterous that they have the audacity to not let us work at a hospital. I have an MRI ART. Let's get into a story. I went to this hospital and I got the interview. I come in. I'm qualified. Guy's like, man, I want to hire you, but you just have the ART MRI and you don't have the CRT. I was like, yeah, I don't have that. What's well, the problem? Isn't this a, a interview for an MRI job? Yeah, it is. It is. I'm like, well, am I going to, you want me to do other things? You want me to do CT or x-ray? And he's like, no, I just want you to do MRI. They just want you to have the CRT license. That is total BS old school ways. And he said he would have to go through the union. And it would have to be all these things and blah, blah, blah. BS, dude. Moving forward. I did find a company that's contracted with hospitals. And I, I, got, in, I got in to do MRI with the MRI ART. And I'm, I am working for a, a contracted company. Uh, company that you know sits outside in a mobile unit or a uh, modular site for a hospital so I'm already working for a hospital right now so don't let people say that there's no way you can get into a hospital with MRI MRI ART and I've seen some hospitals that you know say oh you just need the ART for MRI and slowly we're getting there but come on all hospitals should allow you to work there in MRI with the ART because we are qualified. I think we are overqualified. Our school is dedicated to MRI. And, you know, some older x-ray techs would be like, well, I've been on the job and they got trained on the job to do it. Fine. But we went to school and this is our core. And you want the best. When you go to a hospital and you're getting your scan, you want the best of the best. Like, I use this analogy like, you go into an Italian restaurant, do you, would you rather have an Italian cook that grew up in an Italian family and got trained by Italians and was lived in Italy and this and that to cook your Italian food? Or would you want a sushi chef cooking your Italian food? Would you want the Italian chef to make you sushi? Hell no. Nah. You want the guy, you want the best, you want the train, and you want the certified. I am not undershotting the people that were cross-trained into it but come on dude you are you just this sets the medical community back by not allowing the highly qualified techs that are coming out of school to work in a hospital or even if they okay maybe not straight out of school okay but say if they worked in a busy uh outpatient outpatient uh center like i did I did over 40 scans a day. I've scanned every type of scan. Okay, I was freaking. I went to this interview and I told them about all the scans I did. They're like, oh, we don't even do half of those scans. We we just do brains. And, you know, hospitals typically are going to just do brains, lumbars, abdomen. Those are your three top scans. Every now and then you'll have some feed coming in with ulcers on their feet and wounds. All day brains. All day brains and lumbars spines that's it that's all they do i did all kind of crazy scans when i worked in a out, busy outpatient center masses on people's uh you know arms and legs and i did lower extremity runoffs i did prostate scans i did tmj i did a lot of breast scans breast biopsies i did a lot of stuff so some hospitals aren't even there, and we're overqualified, and they don't want to hire us. And then they say, oh, well, we want you to do multiple things. That's, like, crazy. You want us to go in and do CT, X-ray, and MRI? You want someone running in a circle doing that? They're not going to be good. They're going to be weak in different areas. You got someone that's not going to know. They're not going to be very good at what they do, and you're going to get a low quality. You need people specialized in doing that what they're doing you don't need a guy that's come in there and do three different things half ass okay so we need to spread the word on this and we need to get this video out 
You need to pass this. People need to be aware. Share this with your directors. Share this with anybody in the medical field, okay? We need awareness that things need to change, you know? Things need to change. It's like we got specialists for everything, you know? We got specialists for everything, like bartenders and, you know... You go to school for something, specifically, you're going to come out great at it, you know. Then you can cross-train at other things. It's like, but this is your core. Your MRI is your core, you know. And like phlebotomists, you know, they go to school for phlebotomy. They're great at sticking. They might even be better than some nurses at getting veins, phlebotomists, okay. That's what they do, you know. What if you're going to go ahead and cross train them into surgical tech? Would that make sense? Hell no. So why that, why does it make sense to let, you know, x-ray cross train into MRI? Like how does that how is that different? You know, like oh the the anatomy, oh this that's BS. There's a lot of things going on in MRI. A lot of MRI safety, a lot of parameters, a lot of physics. So now, you know, they're going to, they have to do an externship and pass a, a test, you know, to get the ART. So we need to get this out here, man. I'm trying to grow the channel and you guys can help by sharing with your coworkers or whoever. Put me on Facebook, put me in some message, uh, some groups, some uh, radiology groups, share this video on LinkedIn, you know. Get it out there, man. I'm ready for us to get out there. I can't do live videos anymore until I get a 1,000 followers. So, come on. You guys need to help me build this channel. I'm trying to do as much as I can to keep it alive. All right? So, I don't know what you guys think about this, but I'm thinking we're going to get there, man. We're going to be able to go apply for hospitals, you know, and get the money we deserve because we have skills, you know. We got skills, dude. But they're trying to set us back. And the older techs that cross trained and all that. And they they look they sometimes they look down on us saying we took the easy way. There's no way, dude. We specialize in this. This is what we do. You know? And I'm working with a tech that's cross training from X ray X ray and they're and they're kinda like they're picking it up. They've been this program, they've been scanning already for eight months. You know, a long time. Still can't really scan on their own. Still haven't taken the ART test or training. You know. So they get, they get a little bit more babied, you know. We kind of go to school, do our externship, get out, and it's, we're on our own. The ones that train on the job, they baby them and they cater to them for a long time. You know, I've seen them get cross-trained and they'll be getting babied for a while, you know, year. We don't get that. We get right into it. We're ready to go right out of school. So spread the word on this. Let's get this out. MRI, ART should be able to work in a hospital. No question. You need people that are the best at what they do, and they specialize in that, okay? Like, why not, why can't I cross-train? If they can cross-train to to MRI, why can't I cross-train to X-ray? Why not? That makes no, oh, the radiation, I don't know. It's all a bunch of, I think California, they're just trying to get more money for licenses, California rad, rad tech. It's just another fee, you know. I don't know, but we should have more opportunities to work in hospitals. That's what all I'm saying. They want to be cheap and not hire another X-ray tech. They want you to do everything. That's kind of BS too. All right. Anyway, leave a comment, share, like, subscribe, all that. I'm out.